Hello and welcome back to Rune Terror Academy Extra Corrector Activities. This week we got our All-Star Edition, as everybody's been waiting for. Uh, 
Yeah, we're gonna be starting off with the uh, the brackets, the bracket predictions, sorry, and then we're gonna move over to All Stars and finishing it off with the house uh, standings, I guess you could call it. Uh, I'm PBS, yeah, so... joined with Red. Uh, yeah, hey, that was him. Yeah, so uh, you know we're gonna do the we're gonna do a quick overview of the brackets. We're gonna do quick uh, predictions, then All Stars, and uh, yeah, then uh, everybody leaves, and then we talk about the houses. So. Yep. That's exactly um, how it works. So, uh, all right, cool. So we could just start straight up with the senior playoffs. Yeah, so I believe first seed went to Akuma Blade, second went to Nightless, uh, third is G7, fourth is CPP, uh, OGW got fifth seed, and TA Glory is sixth. Yes. Uh, and, you know, this is a pretty banger bracket. Um, yes. Not going to lie. Uh, there's only one team that really doesn't stand a chance yep, um, i agree in my opinion <laughs> and everybody else could just kind of beat everybody else on a good day so it's gonna be insanely hyped this one uh if things go like as seedings are expected to go um then that would mean like second round we have nightless versus g7 and then uh akuma versus cpp and that i mean both of those matchups would be insane like i, I mean yep. I would, that would be such a sick weekend. Um, so I'm I'm super hyped for seniors. There's a lot of uh, banger matchups coming up, and uh, I think Akuma and Nightless are pretty happy with the fact that they got bye weeks because yes. uh, uh, playing any like you said, you could lose to any of these teams any day of the week on a good day for them, and uh, so getting that extra week of uh, reprieve is like pretty hype. Uh, so all right, well I have uh, your predictions above mine so uh i guess we'll do yours first oh you're gonna start with mine oh yeah, yeah, brightest yeah. team ambition uh joins the chat uh there you go okay, there's Red's predictions um, yeah i don't see him yet okay there we go so yeah i have g7m 3 owing tag uh sorry prots uh <laughs> and then i have ogw 3 wanting cpp i got uh akum which is the, which is an upset by the way which uh kvs says i don't do but uh, that that is one. I got Akuma three oneing OGW. Uh, Nightless and G7M will be a complete banger. So I think it's five games. And then AKM versus Nightless, five games. I got AKM taking it all. Okay, um, okay. So you got AKM one, Nightless two. Yep. And I assume probably yep. G7 three. Yeah, yeah. And then OGW four. So. Okay, okay. I mean, we we can just go to mine next. I mean, and then sure. we can compare after. We can reflect. Sure, sure. Alrighty. So uh, I have G seven also three owing. Uh, I have CPP three one. Uh, then I have Akuma versus CPP in semifinals. I have CPP winning three two. Uh, that's a bit of an upset. Uh, Nightless three owing G seven. <laughs> that no, I think that's legitimate. I think Nightless no, no, G seven just... every time. Uh. I, I just saw somebody uh, in chat lol question mark your bracket that's awesome <laughs> uh, and then I have nightless 3 wanting CPP in finals so, uh, uh, okay I have nightless 1 CPP 2 and uh, Akuma 3 okay um, cool I think you have uh, some uh, dissenters in the chat uh, oh no I, I warned Red them in chat I warned them in general <laughs> chat before and then we have a bunch of sophomore teams calling each other cringe. Cool. Yep. Um, did you roll some dice? I to always make do. This <laughs> that's, that's how I do brackets. I uh, okay. So when we made these brackets, it's true that we still think TAG is the weak team, but um, they did make some changes and they look better. Like they do look better. I don't know if it's enough to compete with G7M. It's, it's a little bit of a rough first matchup, I could yeah. say. Could they take a game? Sure. G7M's kind of been trolling all season, so definitely could drop a game. But um, I don't know. It's like a, it, it's hard to say for sure. Uh, but yeah, I think I think that uh. Off the quarterfinal scene. What? Oh, I, he's saying because uh, because it so he's he's upset because it's dynamic seating so oh, that um, yeah so that the bracket doesn't kind of like go directly into the next match like it does in freshman and sophomore. 
Um, is if G7M's the win. Yeah, so, so if you look at Red's, would... his is G7 yeah. on the bottom. I guess uh, he has right. OGW on the top line. Yeah, yeah. CP on top. So either way, it's whatever. But um, yeah, I think we both agree that Nightlist makes finals. I think it's, for me, yep. it's pretty clear that Akuma makes it because they haven't nope. been dropping all season. But uh, you you don't agree. I, I don't want to argue with it because it's it's uh it's 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 hard to argue with someone like a uh, that's like just PBS. just five million IQ <laughs> higher. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so I don't want to stoop down to that level. But uh, yeah, so I, I like your predictions though. I think if anything was to go wrong with AKM, it would be against CPP. And uh, so yeah, it's not too. <laughs> Uh, surprising, I guess. Yep. I'm not I, even uh, convinced Red and PVS like each other. Yeah, we don't like each other. We just we just happen to work in the same league. Yeah, yeah. He was he was gonna fire me, but everyone True. else left. Still, it's still on the table. I'm definitely yep. still yep. gonna fire him. So it's just a matter of time. Um, but yeah, on that note, do you want to jump over to Junior? Yeah. All right. So here's a look at the Junior blank bracket. We have uh, BBC taking the first seed, CBR taking the second seed, uh, Air taking. Th- Hold on. Who did get third seed? Enigma. So Enigma got, Enigma third, got seed. third. Okay, and then it'd be mm-hmm. Air, and then Nameless, and then OGW, or OG question mark. Sorry. Air, 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 and then OG question mark, and then Nameless. Yes, Nameless was the sixth seed. Okay. Um. So, uh, this one got. I, I think it's kind of like the same as the senior one, right? There's like one team that can't really compete, but. Nameless did upset, was it BBC? I can't remember. No, it was CBR, right? So, yep. uh, I mean, there, anything can happen. Anything can happen. But I, I think, you know, before we get into predictions, I think the first round matchups, there's only one that's going to be close. And then the second round matchups, I still think there's only going to be one that's close. <laughs> so I think when we get to the finals, that's when we're going to have a banger. Yeah, I think I did um, three ones for every. Actually, I I think I had a three two. Not yeah, but you trolled. No, so no, no, you, you no, actually, no, no, no. People just no, don't don't respect. You my need opinion. to tell the people that you trolled. So no, I didn't troll. <laughs> this is what I think is okay, gonna happen. Okay. All right, we'll do yours okay. first. Though. All right, sure. All right, go here, here you go. Here you go, Red. Uh, okay. So I have heard news that there might be some scheduling issues for Air Esports Revival. Uh, and with this insider information, I have Air Esports Revival going out in the first round. <laughs> uh oh. Um, and then I have Zenar uh, winning over Nameless 3 1. I think Nameless is good enough to take a game, but I don't think they're nearly good enough to take a series or a close series. Um, I got BBC beating OG Unknown 3 <laughs> 1, CB Rush beating Zenar 3 1, and then, uh, you know, the two. The two uh, top teams duke it out. I think BBC. Number one, better, number two seed. Yeah. <laughs> How boring. Well, I mean. <laughs> All right, now let's I, look I got, at the, let's I got look at the repeat real champions. Let's, let's look at the, the the real predictions here. Okay. So, okay, let's barring look at your the scheduling issues, I was not aware, so I'll keep my muse. Uh, so I have Zen R beating Nameless 3-2. Air Esports beating Omega 3 1. Uh, Air Esports beating BBC 3 2. CBR winning 3 1 over Zen R. And CB Rush beating Air Esports in the finals 3 1. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, PVS is not a big fan of first seats. I don't, I don't, it's boring of... to predict that. Why would I do that? Uh, what <laughs> would PVS is on? Uh, I, I think you might be right with a 3-2 on the Zen R Nameless one. I think that series could be close if, if Nameless I see them a... as the same team, to be honest. Really? Yeah. I think Zen R is think that's, it, that's a coin flip right there for me. Really? Okay, yeah. that's kind of With wild. Nameless because beating Zenar... uh, Air? Yeah. Or CBR, sorry. Okay. I mean, CBR is just trolling. That's the problem. Like, it, it wasn't really a, a, a Nameless thing, thing I think. I think Zen R is really good. They just swapped out their mid laner, and he's like just destroying everyone right now. So uh, I think that he's a really dangerous team. 
in this bracket. I, I think, yeah, I think Zenar is a really dangerous team in this bracket. Um, and I, I think they'll, they'll beat Nameless, but uh, I don't think they're the same team at all. Uh, Airy Sports, I think if, uh, you know, I didn't get that leak, uh, I probably would have gone the same way as you, to be honest. Yep. Uh, uh, I wouldn't have picked on them. Skill. To... Basing on skill, not not. I wouldn't uh, have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have picked them to beat BBC. Um, so that's a little interesting. Uh, but I do think CBR and Zen are. Uh, I think CBR is like pretty good. Um, so it makes sense. And then you have them just going to finals to beat Air Esports in not even a five game series. How boring. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I I want I want like all five game series to be honest. I know the teams don't, but uh, <laughs> I don't know, either. For the, con- <laughs> for the content, boys, for the content. I you'll you'll see in my predictions. I don't like picking three twos, unless I think it's gonna be an upset or something like extremely extremely close. I think for the rest of it, I pretty much pick three ones. So. All right, you want to move over to well, sophomore? Essentially. Yeah, sure. Let's move over to sophomore bracket and predictions. All right, here is the blank one. So, uh, TAW took the first seed, and they get to play SOS in the first round. TAG took second seed? Second seed, division two. Right. Okay. okay, I'll do it. I'll do yeah, it. I'll do. It's a little different. So, TA Wolves took first seed in division one. Spiders on stilts took uh, division two's fourth seed in a nail biter. Uh, that if you guys weren't paying attention to that last day of sophomore, you guys were missing out. That was insane. Uh, TAGA got the second seed in Division Two, and OMT Hades got the third seed in Division One. Uh, for the bottom half of the bracket, we have Blue Sprouts who took the second seed in Division One, Project Maverick who took the third seed in Division Two, uh, OMT Zeus who took the first seed in Division Two, and Krakens of Love who took the fourth seed in Division One. Um, to be honest, this is kind of boring. If you're going to ask me, I think these are all very chalk matchups. Yep. And then the semifinals are when the bangers are going to happen. Correct. Uh, and I think we almost have the same exact predictions for the first round. And then the second round is when things change up. So. All right. Well, let's, uh, uh let's take a look at yours. Then. Yeah, we can start with mine. I, I, the, ch- the chat has just gone wild. I can't even keep up with it anymore. <laughs> um, I have TA Wolves 3 0 Spiders on Stilts, especially because um, Spiders on Stilts, I think they just dropped their best player. So it's kind of a yikes situation for them at this point. Uh, and TA Wolves has just been so dominant. TA GA, I got them beating OMT Hades. Um, Hades has got roster stability issues. So, um, you know, it would be hard for me to like really realistically pick Hades, even though I like Hades. Um, BSP over Project Maverick 3-1. I think as the season has gone along, Project Maverick has kind of really dipped in terms of strength of play, and BSP has only been, like, like skyrocketing. So uh, it's, it's kind of easy to pick for me. And then ONT Zeus, 3-0 in Krakens of Love. Uh, that's expected. That's pretty expected. Krakens of Love have really fallen off after their first week upset over OMTH. Uh, and then the bangers happen, right? We have the TA mirror match in semifinals. I think Wolves is just a little bit better than Golden Age. Um, Golden Age has really looked good over the last couple of weeks, and but Wolves has been dominant all season, so I give them a three-two nod. Uh, even though it looks very satisfying, that blue and gold color next to each other looks really nice. Um, and then OMT Zeus versus Blue Sprouts. OMT Zeus has looked to me like the best team in sophomore, so. Uh, but I would also say that Blue Sprouts looks like the second best team in sophomore, in my opinion. We've said this like last week too that I think if Blue Sprouts didn't start the season with the matchups that they had, they probably would have went undefeated and they would be the number one seed in Division One. My opinion, my opinion. Okay, yes. nobody flame me. And then uh, I got OMT Zeus playing TA Wolves uh, in the finals. OMT Zeus taking it three two. Um, Andy's telling me I'm cringe, and my opinion is stupid, and now my feelings are hurt. And but uh, yeah, so I, I just picked on TC because I think they're just the better team. That's all. Okay, makes sense. All but right, it's gonna be bangers. I, semifinals. There's the so when the semifinals happens, it's 15 games, guys. Like it's just happening. 
Yep. It's gonna happen. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really care what anybody says. It's all five games for every series. So. <laughs> Dear God. I feel bad for whoever has to stream those, right? Right. I don't. I mean. <laughs> all right. Not all my right. job. All right. All right. <laughs> so here is mine. Uh, I have TA Wolves 3-0 Spider on Stilts. TAGA 3-0-ing OMT Hades. Blue Sprouts 3-0-ing uh -huh. PM. OMTZ dropping one game to KOL. Uh, in the TA Mirror match, I have TA Wolves 3-1. I have BSP beating OMTZ 3-1. And in finals, I have Blue Sprouts 3-2-ing TA Wolves. Uh... I mean, that's fair, I guess, question mark. I think it's a little weird that the in the first round, AOL is the only team to win yep. a game. Okay, well, hype. But, uh, okay. And then I think if BSP was to uh, beat OMTZ, I think, that's, I think that's a fair statement to make if, if OMTZ is, like, not on their shit and BSP is, like, super on their shit. Uh, but BSP winning it all? I, I mean, I guess it's believable. It's it's believable, right? I, yeah. I did say BSP, I think, is slightly better than TA Wolves, so uh, I'll give it. I mean, it, it would be completely insane if this happened. Um, but I, I'm I'm here for it. Uh, I'm I'm living I'm living in PBS's reality. I mean, I like honestly, it. I think anything after semifinals could really like could go either way for any of these teams. Like any of the four teams, I think TAGA might upset TA Wolves potentially, but. I, I just had to go well, with, with uh what's his name? Uh huh. Lawrence? The, the, no 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 ADC. Okina? Oh. Yeah, yeah, Okina, Okina. I had I had to trust in Okina. Here's what I'll say, okay, on the TA mirror matchup. Prots left T A G A to join the Wolves. That mm. should say everything. That should say everything. So the Wolves lose. I'm calling you out, Prots. Oh <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. Exactly. Um, but yeah, uh, yep. If that should say the wolves are losing. Yeah, so I guess everyone familiar with the situation is uh, kind of on GA side. All right, all right. I thought he joined wolves to get a championship, not to bring them down. But, uh, he... How are you gonna feel if KOL beats OMTZ first first round? Um, I don't know. Probably <laughs> pretty elated because that means uh. Ivar's free to stream on Saturday. So. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, but yeah, that'd be that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, we can move over to freshman now. I think. All right, here is the freshman blank bracket. Uh, I'll let you do it again. Okay. Uh, Zenigma getting the first seed in Division One, going against the Division Two fourth seed Shogun Hunters. Division 2 second seed TD Shadow going against Division 1 third seed Shogun 2077. Uh, we actually already had a match resolve. Uh, Kingpin Gaming, the Division 1 second seed, beating Corvus Blade, the Division 3, th the Division 2 third seed. There's a lot of numbers here. Beating him 3 to 1, and Kingpin has already advanced. And then we have the first seed from Division 2 going against the fourth seed from Division 1, and it's the Big Duck Entourage mirror match. So that'll be a little civil war there. That'll be pretty yep. hype. Um, All right. Well, yeah. uh, banger. Here you go. Here you go. Here are your predictions right now. Okay. I actually think it, this is the closest first round of any of the classes. I agree. I, I think uh, TD Shadow Shogun 2077 is going to be a banger. I think the the BD Civil War could be a banger, and if Shogun like I don't know snaps snaps out of whatever phase they've been in the last two weeks, they can make that series close too. So, uh, but right now they've been they've been really sliding. They've been like 0-4 the last two weeks uh, after being one of the top teams. So my faith in them is has dwindled quite a bit. Yes. Uh, so I, I got Zenigma three zero over Shogun. Uh, TD Shadow three two over Shogun twenty seventy seven, um, but again, if that if the semifinals ends up being a Shogun Civil War, I, I wouldn't be too surprised. Um, BDE Shaman, I got him beating Druid three one, and of course, I already predicted the Kingpin Corvus game perfectly. Yep. Uh, so 
Don't need to discuss that. Uh, Zenigma Unknown, I actually have them losing the TD Shadow 3-2. I think Zenigma Unknown has looked really good all season, but TD Shadow has been on fire since they've changed out their roster. Um, I think people are sleeping on them, and um, that's a really dangerous, really dangerous place to be in. Uh, so I think TD Shadow is going to win at 3-2, and then I have BDES winning 3-2. But again... To me, if either of these went the other way, I wouldn't be surprised. This 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 playoff bracket is going to be so sick. All these teams are really close with each other. Um, and then TD Shadow, I have beating BDE Shaman 3-2. But again, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if neither of my finals team even made it to finals. So I actually kind of forget who I put first. I think I put... Oh, I mean, we could just look right now, I guess. Yeah, we could just look. Alrighty, uh, I have Zen U three winning Shogun, TD Shadow three owing twenty seventy seven. I uh, got the third game perfectly right. Uh, I have Shaman also beating BDE Druid at three one. Uh, then you move over to semifinals. I have Zen U beating TD Shadow three one, and then I have Kingpin beating BDE Shaman three one. And then in finals, I have Kingpin three winning Zenigma Unknown. Right, and uh, both of our finals teams. Like we we have the same semifinals, but then the finals are completely different because I think you would agree that all like all of these teams are like really close. In fact, the the fact that Corvus only took one game is pretty surprising to me because they've looked pretty good. Um, uh, I mean, but yeah, I I, I mean, it, to me, I could see your back bracket being a reality. I could see my bracket being a reality. Uh, I have. I, I don't think I could see some of your other brackets being a reality, <laughs> but <laughs> this one I definitely could. Uh, this uh, the freshman is the most uh, competitive, I think, and most up in the air. So I'm super excited about that one. Yeah, I mean, freshman definitely ending out with a banger. Surprisingly, it wasn't the most controversial league this season, which is uh, yeah, no a kidding. surprise to me, honestly. But yeah, and everybody who actually has the banter role knows. <laughs> knows which league was the most controversial this season. Yep. Because uh, that was like, uh, that 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 banter chat was dominated by one class and one class only. So, <laughs> uh, it'll be quite fun. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I, look, some people some people say I think Shogun 2077 wins round one. Definitely possible. Definitely possible. We already talked about that. So, um, I'm excited to see how this one shakes out. And uh, all the freshman matches are already scheduled. So. Uh, yep. No issues there. We'll know when to show up. Yep. We'll know when to show up. So, all right. I think we are uh, we're ready with the uh, big reveal. Yep. What everybody's been waiting all for. All right. Let me let me check to make sure I have these in the right order. Okay. Yeah, I do. So we're gonna okay. be starting with the freshman third all star team, and then wait. Make Get ready, way. guys. Get ready, right, guys. Ready, this is ready? gonna take a while. It <laughs> is gonna. It is actually gonna take a while. Grab in. Grab in. Uh. Okay. So moving over to all stars. Freshman, Freshman third team all star. We have the top laner from Zen Yu late. Uh, Shogun 2077's jungler, Tafiki Jr. TD Shadows mid and jungle, or mid and bot, sorry. See the Dark and Clone Man 54. And King Kraus on support. Yeah. So uh, late is actually Elite Games. He just name changed to late. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, these are all team, these are all players that were kind of like middle of the pack. Um, they didn't really wow anyone, but they were solid role players on their team. And I think you'll find that very consistent across all of the classes, third team all-stars. So, um, but yeah, I mean, we'll flash this on screen and then I think we'll like kind of yeah, quickly yeah, move. Yeah. All right, freshman second team. Top freshman baller, second team. Demandin, Fishing for Honor, Prevail, and Temerier, 315. So yeah. three BDE three, members. Three BDE D members, yes. like specifically Druid members, uh, a Kingpin member, and a Zedigma member. So uh, BDE D kind of maybe they should you know vote a little bit more, <laughs> a maybe. little bit more for their team. It could have snuck some of these first team spots, but I think on that note we could go straight to the first team announce. All right, so we we do have players. like really fancy graphics for this, so uh, yeah, y'all yeah. better be ready. So the yeah, freshman yeah, exactly. first team all stars. Here you go. In the top lane from BDES, we have Solus, 
in uh, the jungle, we have three minutes from BDED. Uh, Young Rich Boy from Kingpin, Kingpin Gaming. Accelerate from Shogun Hunters. And in support, we have Brandon Needs Help. Yeah, so um, pretty sick graphic made by our graphic designer here, Dawson. Um, but I, I like what I like about this is that there's one player from like every top team. I right? think this like, is the like, most variety we have in our All Stars. Yeah, it's it's definitely the most variety. There's no repeats. Um, and uh, for people who are saying like player voting or whatever. And MVP, so MVP is next week, and the first team all stars are the finalists for MVP, so everybody will have a chance to vote for that. Player voting is not the only criteria that was used, uh, it was only about 50% of the criteria that was used for all stars. So, if you want to complain about that, um, I don't know, dude, like, <laughs> just, just get better. I don't know. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so. Pretty sick. Uh, Solus has been dominating on Aatrox all season. You can see the champions that they picked are the champions that they played the most and their favorite skin. So these guys usually had, they had some kind of clue that they were probably going to win. Um, but yeah, pretty sick. Yep. Uh, I think for me, if I were going to make an early MVP vote, it would be Young Rich Boy. That would be what I would say. That's so, safe. That's safe. Yeah. What about you? Uh, you know, I, I don't watch freshmen all that much. Uh, I typically don't stream them, but, uh, I mean, I, I think I remember voting Accelerate. I don't remember yes. what my other votes were. He's, I think he's the surprise, yes. to be honest. Um, the, the fan vote was, like, extremely over for him. So. I did base a lot of it on the, the role rating, but so, some, of yeah. the, some of the votes weren't, so... Yeah, so congratulations to our freshman first team all stars. You will see their names on the ballot for MVP next week, uh, and the MVPs get their like they get their own graphic. Pretty yep. sick. A little roll uh, in Discord too. Fun. Yeah, a little roll in Discord. A little, little crown. So be excited for that. Be on the lookout for that. And then let's go over to sophomore third team. Yeah, here you go. Sophomore third team is Bronopoli, Mister Buffalo, Carido, Spicy Swass, and Kobita. Oh boy, I cannot wait for the chat to pop off. Yep. Uh, seeing Kobita's name show up here, he did make sophomore third team, um, and then two other two TAGA members making it as well, Pronopoli and Carito. Spicy Swass, uh, I'm gonna just leak it. He is the only person from Nameless to actually make us the All Stars. Oof. So that's best player on the team. You can say that. Yeah, I mean, he wasn't even, he's not a playoff team. So that's, <laughs> I think he's the only player from a non playoff team to make top three uh, All Star teams. So pretty sick. And then Mr. Buffalo from Project Maverick, uh, pretty good all season as well. So congratulations to our third team. All right, here is the second team. We have After Dab Boudet, Warhead 852, Titan Duff, Opa Ivar, and Zepper. Or Zepper, I don't know. I know that's Quanta, I think. So. Right, right. It's Quanta. So, Ivar Quantum bot lane getting second team all star. Uh, pretty hyped about that. Didn't make first team though. Didn't make first yeah, team. How unfortunate. Uh, OMTZ taking three spots here with Warhead in the jungle as well. After that, Booty from Blue Sprouts. That's the second Blue Sprouts member who made it on here. And then Titan Duff, the TA Wolves mid laner, also making it on here. So. All right. Uh, Congratulations to them. And uh, yeah, you can all go right. Here is the sophomore first team all stars. Uh, starting in the top lane, we have Ridley Prime from OMT, Something Corny from TA Wolves, Kitan from OMT, TA Okina from TA Wolves, as well as their support, Dark Wanker. Or I still don't know how to say that name. Yep. So it is OMTZ and TAW full house here. Ridley Prime taking the top slot, getting that nice Dragon Knight uh, Mordekaiser. I think that's also his, like, Discord image. Uh, something corny in the jungle from T.A. Wolves with the uh, Secret Agents in Zhao. OMTZ Kitan with the uh, Prestige. Uh, what is it? True Damage uh, Kiana? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, T.A. Okina getting that very nice Ruined Misfortune skin from uh, the bot lane. And then support... Battle Academia, Leona, each edition Prestigious, for Dark Wanker. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's I, I like these skins. This is probably like my five 
like out of all of the images, uh, these five and, and like as a total, these are like my favorite assortment of skins. So it is iconic skins right there. Yeah. So, uh, pretty sick. Uh, congratulations to OMTZ and TAW for sweeping it. Dark uh, Wen Cray. Okay. Yeah, Dark Wen Cray. You know the casters uh, would probably know. I I don't I don't cast. Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> the dark Wanker. It's actually Dark Wanker. Um. So yeah, congratulations to the uh, guys here. Um. Seeds. Unlike uh, unlike the last one. Yep. But uh, yes. Yeah, so pretty pog. Congratulations to them. And uh, yeah. By the way, we'll be posting all of these later on, so yep. you can see them later. All right. Junior third team is CBR Rutledge, Ryuji Ayukawa. Tango, Bu You Die, and Oreo Murder, Murderer. Yeah. So uh, Rutledge getting third spot. I think that's probably a surprise for both most people. Uh, Oreo Murder grabbing a spot as well, and Tango. Tango is brand new from Zen R. Uh, he's only played two weeks, and he was able to get third team All Star, which was like his kind Just of dominance good. in his recent time. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the Air Esports guys, very respectable coming out in third. I think Ryuji's like been the number one player for Air all season in terms of stats. And uh, I know even the top junglers respect him. So it's good to see that he made the team uh, as well. All right. Junior. Especially because they're not a really a, a known org. And this is true. You know, the, I mean, this is their first time the in our so. Yeah, exactly. So all right. Congratulations to them. Junior second team, we have Bobby Robb, Kai Nguyen. Economical, Evil Zara, and Core. Yeah, I know there's going to be one absolutely devastated person in the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> uh, getting second place here uh, for Jungle. He was so close. I'm not joking, guys. It was a one point difference uh, that Kai got second. Uh, it was Every extremely vote matters. close. Every vote did matter. Bobby Rob and Economical and Core, the other three air players taking spots here. Um, and then Evil Zara, he's been he's been pretty good for CB Rush all season. He's taken the second spot in ABC. So yeah. Pretty hype. Pretty hype. Sorry, Kai. Sorry, Kai. Please don't cry. Kai can take it. All right. And for the junior first team all star, uh, I think we, we see that there's one team missing a lot of players from these first through a few all-star things. Uh, so here's the first team. Top lane, we have Kenrick, CBR Acid, Evil Bender, Corsic, and thereby also. Wow. This is looking extremely familiar. <laughs> it's the same as last semester. How <laughs> It's literally the same exact <laughs> people from last semester. Just CBR Acid switched teams. That's the only difference. Um, CBR Acid told me that he's trying to collect MVPs um, because he liked the uh, the image from the first season so much. He just wants a rotating background on his uh, <laughs> computer. So, yeah, I mean, he's gonna he's probably gonna keep it up. But yeah, this is a uh, last season's BBC roster for those unfamiliar. Uh, they also swept All Stars last season, and uh, now the only change is CBR changing uh, CBR Acid going to CB Rush. So. It's more fitting uh, yeah, his name, anyways. Cool. Yeah, you know, it, it kind of feels like it's bringing the boys back together. I'm yeah. just saying, BBC might want to try to reach out to Acid, get that uh, contract signed, <laughs> give him a little signing bonus. But yeah, I mean, I like a lot of these skins too. E Girl Bender skin is top notch. Kenrick's is top notch. So, uh, congratulations to all the guys here uh, that made it. And uh, time to go over to the senior. Last. Yeah, senior team three, we have AXM in the top lane, Benefactor Sam in the jungle, Seal City Warrior in mid, Indigo on ADC, and Trade on support. Well, this is good news, you know, because last season, all the junior uh, all-stars were the same, and uh, the senior all-stars were all G7M members. But uh, now we see that senior third team has Steel City Warrior, so we know that at least there won't be a repeat of last season senior. Yep. Uh, but, you know, CPP members putting up some uh, impressive results in these uh, All-Stars finishes. Um, I think they got almost... Uh, well, I don't want to spoil it, but... <laughs> uh, also, AXM making it. So, I, I really like this list. Um, it feels right. To me. I think maybe trade should be higher. 
but it, it does feel like these guys are the third best in each role. Yep. So. All right. Well, let's see who the second best is in each role. Uh, top lane, we have Stifo. In jungle, we have Best Turtle OCE. Mid lane, we have Sir Zephyr. In the mid, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In bot lane, we have X-Ray Goggles. And on support, we have a Furious Doctor. Yeah, so Stifo, I'm kind of surprised. Stifo has been dominating top lane all season when he plays. So kind of surprised to see him in second team. Uh, and then Best Turtle OC and X-Ray Goggles taking up two more spots for G7M. Uh, Sir Zepper has been absolutely outstanding in the mid lane all season. And a Furious Doctor uh, grabbing that support spot. But you know, um, EVS, there's some... There's like a team that's missing. Yeah, I, I, I mean, you got Nightless, you got CPP, you got G7M. I mean, yeah, I feel like, look, there's a team that's missing. Well, I mean, we could we could turn over to this next slide and uh, we can see who it is. So, uh, yeah, in sure, the top sure. lane we have Akuma's top laner Revdon. In the jungle we have Akuma's jung. Sorry, Akuma's jungler Yasa. Akuma's mid laner AKM X Fluke. In the bot lane, we have AKM's bot laner, keyboarder, and support breaking the uh, breaking the full sweep. We have Havoc, by the way. Yeah. So AKM, you know what to do. Uh, you know who to grab for uh, <laughs> your support next season. But uh, yeah, pretty sick. AKM almost with the clean sweep. Uh, X Fluke uh, was not happy that he had to choose Corky, but uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Stop playing Corky then, idiot. Yeah, just don't play Corky. Just play something else. Say something fun. Play Yone. I don't know how Havoc got first team. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, Havoc kind of boring. He picked the base skin Maokai. Uh, very snooze fest. But uh, yeah, I, I like this lineup a lot. AKM has been dominant all season. Um, so it's not too surprising. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I, I loved, I liked how all of them shaked out. Like, I really did. It was very funny to see the junior was just a repeat of last season, and uh, I like, I liked all of, the, I felt like all of them were about right, to be honest. So. Yep, I agree. Yeah. Also, yeah, what Revnon said, uh, Mordekaiser was not his most played champion, but it was banned against him 14 times this season, and then I think the three times it wasn't banned, he did play it. So. Uh, that's like a hundred percent presence in AKM games, so pretty insane uh, that Mordekaiser is drawing that much attention. Uh, so they got the nod there. Yep. Uh, do you want to move over to the uh, the thing we don't speak of because everyone will leave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's move over to the house standings. All right. Uh, so as, the house at the conclusion of the season. Yeah. Yeah, so first place we have Infernal, second we have Mountain, third place we have Ocean, and fourth place we have Cloud. Yeah, so not much movement all season. Uh, last season it was a lot of back and forth between Infernal and Cloud. This season it's been Infernal on top and Mountain has been very close behind all season. And um, they haven't been able to cr like get over that hump. But playoffs is like the best time to do it. Um, yep. If you see that both of these both of these houses have two number one two number one seeds, um, funnily enough, AKM, uh, Infernal has the senior and junior number one seed, and then Mountain has um, his sophomore and freshman number one seed, and then um, they both have eight teams in playoffs. So a lot can change here. A lot can. Um, so I, I'm excited to see how things shake out. If there's an early upset, you know, with AKM and BBC, something like one of those teams falling out early, houses can completely flip. Completely flip. I did the math. No houses are technically out just yet. So Pug? Free uh, money? Yeah. Money. Fifty dollars per team, guys. Uh, so that's ten bucks each. That's, that's like a good meal. Oh, that's an entry fee into sophomore. True. Easy that's, I mean, that's true. So but, I mean, why would you buy food when you could just play an RA again? True. Who needs to eat? Yeah, don't eat. Just play. Yep. Um, but yeah, so pretty excited to see how things shake out. Do you have any predictions on uh, who's going to, like... I, I, You know what? I think, based on what you put in your predictions, you have Mountain winning it all. Yep. Because you have Nightless winning it all, right? Yes. And uh, I think you have, like, AKM going out early, so... Um. That would be quite a 
quite a big change. I have AKM going third, but... Right, right. Still. But it's uh, still kind of early. But yeah, so super excited. See how the final week goes. Uh, any like final thoughts, comments? We can't. We blew through this because there yeah, was like that's actually like forty speed. images, so we had to get through them. But yeah, any final thoughts? Anything that you're super excited about? Uh, I mean, I'm excited to see how uh, the teams I picked first go. Obviously, I mean, I have a lot of spicy, odd takes, you could say, but you know. I, so I want to see, see Ocean try to claw up to first, too. Guys, okay, so I, I'll just put this on record. Uh, if, if, if PVS didn't have these takes, he, he would have been fired by now. So, yep. like, that's the whole reason why he does this. It's, for, it's so he can put food on his table. So don't flame him too hard, right? Like, we need a villain, uh, so don't flame him too hard, right? Like, he's just doing his job. I'm right sometimes. He's right, even though he doesn't try to be. <laughs> <laughs> He was hired to fuck shit up. True. <laughs> yep. Very true. You need a little chaos, or else it's not as fun, right? So. Yep. All right, well, you want to make some announcements about, like, lore or playoffs at all? I don't know. Um, Playoffs, pretty cool. You know, you guys should schedule your matches so I know which one to stream. Um, Second, lore. We have our lore tournament tomorrow. We're going to have 64 people. Um. Doubt 64 people show up because there's a lot of bugs in lore right now, so uh, a lot of people can't even connect to the game. So we'll see how that goes tomorrow. Very poggers. And uh, yeah, more details on the LOR League coming soon. Like very soon. Very Next soon. week. So be excited for that. Like set you your LOR fans. Soon. Yeah. Yeah. If you know any top players that play for your orgs, <clears throat> um, I know some of you guys do. So, you know. Be on the lookout for that. Be pretty pog. So, yep. Is that it? Oh uh, yeah. If you, if you're not in Lord, there's lots of players that are looking for teams. Uh, just saying. Pretty cool. Get your name out there. Really entry. Really easy entry into that scene. Very. Easy. Anyway. Um. Uh, yeah. That's all. Love you guys. Thanks for a great regular season. It was so fun. It was actually way more fun than last season. No joke. A season was very boring when it came to playoffs time. <laughs> like, none of the, <laughs> there was the like one, results came, yeah. Yeah, um, that was very expected, like all chalk. So, excited for this one. All right. Well, I think that's it for us on the uh, extracurricular activities All Star Edition. Uh, the VOD will be up. I think it's also going to be on YouTube, so you can rewatch it if you need to. The All Star graphics will also be in the Discord channel somewhere. Uh, not not entirely sure where, but uh, yeah. We will see you next time. I believe Friday we have a freshman match. So uh, yep. don't know. I don't know if you picked yet, but uh, yeah. live announcement. It's a uh, TDS versus twenty seventy seven. That'll okay. be the one. Okay. Okay. It'll be poggers. Uh, best of fives. So uh, they will probably run a little late, but that's perfect for all of you night owls. Uh, yeah. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we will see you Friday for the freshman Friday league. Uh, I am PBS, joined you today with Red, and yeah, we will see you tomorrow, or two days from now. Tomorrow for LOR. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. tomorrow for LOR. Okay. Bye, everyone. See ya.